What's going on, bro? All right, what's going on? Hanging out, hanging out. You know, I saw that video you sent me, and I was just like, they taking axles now? Right, right. Everything. That is... That is crazy, you know. Uh, no, uh, definitely, you know. Um, welcome to the show, brother. You know, um, introduce yourself. Your social media is everything right away because I want to show you love right in the beginning, not like ten minutes down. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I'm Tavares. I'm a truck driver for three years now. Um, my social media you just find me with Tavares. Uh, dot Tavares. Uh, I have it. I'm not sure. I put links. I'll yeah. put links. <laughs> yeah, you got to just drop the links. I can't much remember how I have it on there. Uh, nah, no worries. No worries. So paint this picture for us. Where are we at? What's going on? And so that other truck drivers could be aware that their axles, too, can be taken. <laughs> well, this was just in a local area, like right around the corner from my house. Like literally like um, and I stay in on Cypress, Texas area, Cypress, like Houston is Cypress, though. It's not really mm -hmm. um, just like on the outskirt. And um, I mean, truck drivers normally park um, on that road, but it says, you know, how no truck parking. So, uh, you know, people do it anyway. And what I've been noticing is people are breaking into the trucks, you know, just going to the window. And probably grab what they want to grab. But this day was crazy. I came home from work because I'm on local driving. So I came home from work and I'm looking and I'm like, whoa, something going on. Like, what is this? And it just shocked me. Like, I'm like, man, how is that sitting like that? Like, how do they even do it? You know, I was just puzzled. I was like, man, I got to record this. Yeah. All I got to say is when you guys see this video, I'm talking about some two by fours. And four by four. and one of the rims <laughs> to hold up this trailer. <laughs> it was like the four by four, so you know, like the big ones that you would use for like flatbedding. Mm-hmm. And it would, yeah. So wait up. So does that mean that it possibly could have been a flatbed truck driver? Are we under? In, are we investigating now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking that too. They use all their dunnage and just you know they. They got to get some money some way. Everything's so high, the gas, everything else. So I have no idea. You know, take a hey, look, take the man's tires. But how much? I mean, if you're going to be race car driver, take his axles too. I mean, you in the wrong position. You need to go work for NASCAR or do something. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, you only see that done on, on, on like what cars, cars sitting on bricks. You know what I mean? Cars sitting. <laughs> On just the axle, uh, but the trailer, yeah, that was that was some some other stuff there. Yeah. No, no, I appreciate you, brother. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Like, uh, you know, we're having kind of fun on this uh, uh, show today, and and so people can get a, a good laugh, but also to know, uh, please don't leave your equipment unattended, because um, that area, that's probably a decent area, is right next to your house, so. <laughs> You know, it's it's just the, I think the hard part is when when it comes to trucks, all people do is they put on a little vest and then they pretend like they're working on the truck. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so people driving by, they don't know. I think yeah. that's the first that's, I think that's the first red flag. None of us truckers wear a vest or, yeah. you know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of people on the, under the comments were saying, man, like, had nobody seen that? And the first thing I thought was somebody saw it. You know what I mean? They just didn't know what was going on. Probably would have thought, like, man, they're working on that truck or whatever it could have been, whatever the case was. But it's just, just uh, you know, a regular citizen. You know, they're not going to expect, like, you know, somebody stealing that off of the truck, off the trailer. So, yeah. uh, That's crazy. Uh, did you get a chance to talk to that driver or anything like that? Never saw the driver. Um, but I did speak with the the wrecker as he was picking it up. So now, I, what did he say? Was that a first for him too? Man, he was like he never seen nothing like that. He um, I was sat and talked to him for a while, and he like man, he never saw nothing like that and he, ever. Period. You know what I mean? He like he don't know how they did it, how long it took them, or none of that. Um, but he was like, yeah, definitely was stolen off. Yeah. Oh man. And he oh, was man. That on um, you know set it up to get it moving because i'm like man why don't you rock that to put the because he had one of the what is it called when it's the double trailers that hold the double trailers yeah he i seen it one of them on the fifth wheel 
So he was trying to figure out, you know, how he going to push it under there without rocking it enough to fall off the four by four. So, yeah. That's, that's crazy, man. You know, I'm going to give you the floor. Is there anything you want to shout out? Anything at all? Let me know. And then send me that video and then I'll put it all together and we'll have some fun with it. You know, uh, I'll probably put it up uh, possibly, honestly, maybe first thing in the morning because uh, that rail strike that was supposed to happen. Mm hmm. President Biden threw it to Congress and then Congress passed it to Senate and it passed in Senate forcing the railroad workers back to work. Oh, okay. So when we think about like America the free, imagine as if all us truck drivers shut down ourselves. He could actually just throw that to Congress and then take it to Senate and say, hey, if you don't go back to work, you're not a citizen or you're going to be arrested. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. It is. It is really crazy, man. Like all, everything, how they putting us truckers in some crazy positions with, with just everything, with the low rates, the fuel, just everything, Um, even getting a CDL now, you know? They're making everything so difficult where most of us don't even really want to drive no more. I mean, people parking their trucks, you know, looking for a separate business just to get out the game. You know, it's just so much going on where a lot of people just don't want to do it. Just throw their hands up. Done with it. You know, I know a couple of cops where, you know, they went ahead and started working for, uh, you know, H-E-B or Walmart. Park their truck or sold their truck. You know, it's, it, it's crazy because, to be honest, like, I ain't sponsored by Walmart or nothing like that, right? But it's kind of hard to compete with 120000 Yeah. You know what I mean? With full benefits. Yeah. Like, that's kind of hard to compete with in a time when it's bad like this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, not, so, I'm, a, I'm a company driver myself. and um, Yeah. Uh, I do real well. I'm home every day. My kid's downstairs right now. And I make, uh, I just checked before I got on this live. Um, but right now, I'm at like 104 for the year. So... Congrats, man. You know, anyone that wants to get into the trucking business right now, my recommendation is uh, it's going to be more fruitful to be a company driver versus an owner operator unless you got relationships and lanes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but I mean, uh, you can shout out that company if you want or if you don't want people working there. I mean, that's a. <laughs> um. Well. Drop the link to the video if they want to know the company. I let them know it's it's a car hauling company. Um, it's local. I, I don't think I want to shout it out on there like that. Um, I heard that. I heard that. If if they're serious, they'll reach out. Yeah, it's a car hauling company, so you got to work. You're not just bumping docks all day. You know, um, it's it's not hard work, but it's, a lot of people just think car hauling is difficult, and it's really not. Once you get over the loading cars, I mean, that's it. Loading them and taking them off, you know, damages, you are right, you know. And the car, the company that I'm with now is used cars, so it's not all new cars, you know. Some people it's not Lamborghinis and Ferraris and Bugattis and Bugattis. And um, we did them. Um, I sent you a video of that too, man. We got a 2023, I think that was yesterday or the day before yesterday, Corvette. I don't know who sold them this car and how they got it, but yeah, it's nice. I tell you, man, I tell you, but yeah, no, um, definitely send me then, you know, maybe your, uh, your email for mm -hmm. people that might be interested. You can help change someone's life and then definitely links to your social medias when you find out what the links are. And uh, then the last one is, uh, if you could send me that video, um, is it a long video? Because if it's a long video, I could send you, uh, like a we transfer.com type thing. And then you can. Just click on it and click the email, and then I could download it. Okay. Um, it's it's not long though. I already chopped it up because I put it like on TikTok and um and made a rail out of it, so it should sound fine. Oh, if it's like that, then I'll just take it from there. Yeah. yeah. Just send me the links to that, and then that way I could shout out your social medias too, because, um, I I mean it made me smile. Not I mean not for the driver because that sucks, but yeah. like if I was a driver and I came back to my truck, yeah, and then my axles are missing. I mean, like, what are you going to do? Like, at that point, you're going to be so mad. You're just going to, like, put your head down and smile. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like why did I buy a, a GPS? Like, if he just going to take the axles. Yeah. 
Right, right. I mean, it's impressive, man. That's what a lot of people like. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even mad. Like, I, I don't know. It's just impressive. Like, how they do it, you know? That's or, <laughs> But I, I can't imagine how much they would get for that whole setup or they were moving it to their own truck. Who knows? I have no idea. So. I don't know. I mean, just can you imagine that conversation? Like me and you in a car? Like, hey, we about to take his axles. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be a stand-up comedian, but like, that's funny, man. Yeah, it is. And again, disclaimer for all the people that will hate on me. Like, dang, Alex, you're, you're hating hella bad on this guy. Nah, man. The axles, bro. Like, like yeah. on bricks. <laughs> it wasn't my. It's not my trailer. It's not mine. So, you know, it's somebody else's. Some wealth company. I, I didn't even look up the company name or anything. Yeah, um, yeah. But no, I appreciate you. You know, just BSing with me and having a good time and talking about some real things too. And you know, I appreciate you so much, brother. All right, I appreciate you, man. Everything you're doing over there. Um, man, I wish you well with everything that you got going on. So. Oh, nah, I appreciate it. You know, I'm just trying to give people the information. And then it's kind of like every video is a serious video. So I feel like when we put this one up, it still be serious at a PSA to like check your equipment. Yeah. But like, watch yeah. out. They put in your trailer on bricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I appreciate you, brother. No, thanks a lot. And uh, I'll wait for all the links down below. Uh, so just text me all that info and then we'll be good. All right. All right. No problem. Yeah. All Have right. a great day, man. And congrats on uh, making six figures, man. That's that's amazing, man. In a time oh. that's hard like this, I, I, I'm i really happy for you, brother. Yeah. Two times in a row. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, motivation right there. So if you guys want to be car haulers in Cypress, Texas, Houston area, I don't know. Uh, you might have to email my guy. So, you know, uh, I'll wait for all the information. All right. All right. Bye. All right.